Is it daylight? Ye gods, I'm tired. Why are you sick? Nay, my wife nags me every time I try to sleep, day and night. She's not here now. Why not sleep now? She is not here, but the minute I go to bed, she will appear in my dreams, which then swiftly become nightmares. She appears in your dreams? I. she's dead, you know. She can hardly come in person. Your dead wife haunts your dreams? I and she will not stop. Trouble is, I know why, and I'm ashamed, too. What did you do? She wanted to be buried with her family necklace, but I thought it was a terrible waste. Oh, if I had only done as she asked. Why not go to her grave and give her the necklace? I'm scared. The graveyard is full of zombies now. Would you do that for me? I thank you. Here it is. Pity? Nay, that old sheep? Bleed, bleed the whole day long? Mario, I hope she didn't hear that. Dearest? Dearest? Just a slip of the tongue? I... we wanted a child, but it would have been a daughter, I know. Then I'd have had a sheep and a lamb bleating at me all day long. You? I'm just finishing Can this I help off. You? Well, good day to you. A fine Hello, day. stranger. I have much to Hail, do. stranger. Can I help you? Good day to you. Combat skills alone do not suffice. You will encounter situations that require invention and flexibility. What do you mean? You can use a shield, or even a torch as a powerful weapon. It is all a matter of practice. And you can teach me those skills, I presume? Of course, my friend. Each skill will cost you 10,000 in gold. Only expert warriors know how to defend themselves against a swift blow with a shield. And even they try to avoid anyone who uses this technique. If you wish to master your trade, learn this skill well. Oh, stranger. Good day to you. Ah, well met. Hail. Hail, stranger. Well met there. Well met. Can I help A you? A fine day.
Can I help you in some way? Good day to you. You seek something, perchance? Looking for something? Hail, stranger! Hail! Well, good day to you. Good day! Good day, sir. I'm Stelios Tarm, assistant to General Panas Lumios. What brings you to his office? I must arrange that for you. However, I can assure you of my discretion. I must speak with the general, alone. The general does not speak with just anyone, only with war heroes and myself. And you do not seem like a war hero. It would be much worse if we were not here. We are the last bastion against anarchy and the orcs. The way the army is, the citizens will soon admit the orcs into the place, just to be rid of you. Ah, the moaners have been biting your ear about how terrible military law and order is so terrible. Ah, poppycock. Most civilians are grateful to us for our efficiency in running the city. Aye, but he does not wish to be disturbed. All his affairs will be handled by me. Farewell, then. a lot to do. Hail and well met, youngster. Well met, soldier. What's your business here? This is a military compound, you know. How can you tell that I am not with the military? No regimental armor. I could be on leave. You don't have the gait of a soldier. You've never been in any army. Aye, verily. After 40 years in the service, you see such things right away. But I'm too old for the field now, they say. I used to command a whole platoon. Verily, a whole platoon. Aye, and I've had my share of fighting as well. Got a bucket full of medals for it. Though, I must admit, gold would have been more to my taste. Do the medals hold no sentimental value for you? Nay, just bits of metal for killing and pillaging. You could hardly call them fond memories. Take this one. Got it for single-handedly dispatching a whole camp of orcs. You? I, I'm sure. Ha! I could so. Then go and do it. Go on! What do you mean in your mind? What is there to tell? I killed many orcs that day. Nearly lost my arm. How come you ended up in an orc camp alone? I had been on leave and came across a band of the buggers. They were moving camp, see? So I had no time to report it. I just jumped in and did them all. Hmm, that was courageous, but reckless. My superiors called it daring and gave me a medal for it. I'm a public relations officer. Tis a bruised arse all week from sitting, then the tavern bruises your liver from ale and eats your wages over the weekend. And so it goes. Arse, liver. Arse, liver. <laughs> I tell you. Tell me you came back to see the medals of a man who crushed a whole orc camp. Sold. Go on, take it. Impress the ladies. 
That's not exactly why I... I don't care why you bought it. I know you, don't I? I do not believe so. I believe I do. I've heard good things about your work for the Gritza. You wouldn't mind helping a member now, would you? Help you with what? I had a minor misunderstanding with one of our merchants, and now he refuses to serve me. What was the misunderstanding? That's beside the point. I only need to get five lockpicks from him. He's just around the corner. You can't miss him. If you can get him for me, I'll, uh, I'll pay you something extra. Are you daft? What do you think I need them for? Picking my teeth? Barely. It was a minor matter. I sold him some loot and he recognized some of it. He even wanted it back. When I said nay, friend, he said, get out, we're finished. You! Have you talked with that scum, Athos Kaios? I'm going to get that, thief. Nay, don't deny it. I've seen you with him. Where is the harm in a friendly conversation, pray? You better not help him. He stole from my house. I'm not a member of the Geritza, but my father-in-law is. He stole a valuable brooch from my wife's jewel box. Oh, I'll get him. Aye, that is a problem. Aye. If you can get me that brooch back, I'll pay you for it. And my father-in-law will put in a good word for you with the Giritza. Not to me, to my wife. Her mother gave her it. Been in the family for years. You know women. Sentimental about such things. I have tried to join. Tis not easy, though. Even when my father-in-law vouched for me. Good day to you. Hail, stranger. Have you got the lockpicks for me? Ah, my thanks. These are of great import for me. Stranger, how goes it? 
Are you daft? Twas nothing. I sold him some loot. Suddenly he said that. Can I help you? Grand day. Hail. A fine day. Hear me, you will not get in here. Forget it and leave. I wish to speak with the general. I told you the general does not speak with just anyone. Aye, I, I know. Only with war heroes. Indeed. I did not buy this medal at the market. You very well might have. You can doubt all you want, friend, but I think you should let me see the general. Oh, I suppose I must. Go on in and behave yourself when you are in his presence. Farewell, then. Your reputation precedes you. I hear you're quite the hero, and I don't mean your medal, wherever you stole it from. Tis hard to find you. I have searched long and hard for you. Aye, and you found me. What can I do for you? Aye, I know. I can do nothing here. I'm a battle general. However, war is war. An army and civilians must bear it together. Is that all? Then I bid you farewell. Might you be Yontadeo's friend? Ah, I knew Yon would think of something. Welcome, traveler. Hail! Tis fine. I shall take over now. I must only wait for an opportune moment.
his fault. I'm working at this minute. Always welcome here. Let's battle. What's that? Let's see. The path of the taint is crooked and perilous. It can kill you. There must be ways to walk it safely. I can show you how, but knowledge such as this is costly. What is your price? There are several lessons. Each one costs 10,000 in gold. Never reveal your understanding of forbidden magic to anyone. And do not show off your skills to strangers, lest the Silver Circle hunt you down and kill you. The path of the taint is crooked and perilous. There I can show... There the effect is potent. When you have mastered it, your skin will become harder until ordinary blades cannot pierce it. And a truly hard skin will also protect you against magical attacks and nagging women. Welcome. I study the fifth side of magic. Four classic schools forbid such study. Those fools cannot stop me. Let's have a look.
nice weather. this company. That's interesting. What's that? 